Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to update your Ledger Nano S Plus. Sometimes an update is required for the device to even work, but sometimes update is just for greater security or for some newer features, uh, for some minor changes, and updates are generally very important. So uh, to be able to update it, you'll need to use the Ledger Live app on your computer because that's the only thing supported for this device. Mm, some different Ledger devices are supported the OS updates are supported in the mobile app, but here it's only in the um, desktop app, so you'll need to use that. Now, uh, once it's connected in my ledger, if you don't know how to connect it, there is a video on it. Uh, you can uh, go to update firmware at the top. Uh, you don't have to check for updates, it'll automatically check for updates once you connect your device, so you'll always see when there's an update available. And you can see now it's transferring the update to the device, so we'll need to wait a moment until it processes. Now you'll need to confirm with both buttons to install new firmware, so go to the right, confirm. And now it'll start uh, updating, you can see it's in the bootloader mode, which means that it is indeed updating. Now. Uh, I'll need to wait, then enter my PIN on the device. Um, yeah, I can see that after the update that design of the uh, pin, pin entrance has changed, uh, but basically I was expecting it because I was using a different device that I also updated and I know that after the update it has changed. Then you'll need to restore apps if you had any, so you'll need to wait a moment for that. Then allow a secure connection with Ledger and now it'll do that and you can see that there's still a newer version available and yes if you're using the device for the first time there's a high chance that there will be a some a few um, updates in a row and you'll need to get all of those uh, unfortunately uh, you, you just need to do that manually and go through all of those uh, one by one uh, and later on uh, it'll be all done so uh, once my Solana installs here I'll just uh, click on update firmware again of course to do it but I won't show you that in this video because we already know how to update it so I hope that this video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next one